Welcome to the channel, my name's Mageborn and today I'll be giving my first impressions of the Diablo 4 Early Access Beta. I don't like starting off with negatives, but I do have to talk about the launch of the beta. I have participated in a lot of betas in my time, open and closed, so I know what to expect in regards to bugs etc. However, this Early Access Beta is a little different as it is only available for people who have pre-ordered the game. Blizzard will have access to the number of people who have pre-ordered the game, so will know how many people they need to accommodate in this early access beta. There was a two hour queue and disconnects you to server loads, and this baffles me. Once I did get into the game, I experienced a crash after about an hour of gameplay, which put me back into the queue, this time an 80 minute one. Now that the negatives are with, I really enjoyed my first hour in Diablo 4. The story is interesting and one of the cutscenes I experienced was truly unsettling, which I love. I haven't had the chance to try and skip cutscenes and in-game dialogue yet, but I'm sure this will be in place when levelling a secondary character. The combat is fun, even for the first few levels, which is normally pretty slow in action RPGs. I chose a sorcerer for my first character and was using lightning abilities. I was playing on the hardest difficulty available and very rarely had to use potions. But again, this is the early levelling process. The first boss I encountered had actual mechanics you had to avoid and watch out for, which is a good sign for later bosses. The game looks great. It's dark and mysterious, but not too dark you can't see. The monsters are familiar enough to know them from other Diablo games, but with a much better art style. I only got my character to level 6 currently, but even at this low level, I have changed looks a number of times and my character looks great every single time. The skill system is a lot more in depth than with Diablo 3. You have so many more choices. Spending points unlocks skills and allows you to travel further into the skill system. This was just my first impressions. I will post another video of my final thoughts on the early access beta in a few days. But my first impression is that aside from the server problems, the game has a lot of potential. And if the gameplay and mechanics keep ramping up as they currently have, this could be a game that keeps me playing for years. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have a game you would like me to review, post it in the comments below. Thank you.